Let me show you some cool colors that we find in nature. These are butterfly and moth wings. Morpho menelaus, which lives in parts of Mesoamerica. Papilio blumei, and these three down here are the moth Urania rufaeus. What gives these wings their striking color is thin film interference, the same thing that gives you the bright, shiny colors that you see on an oil slick. In this case, the thin films that are interfering are layers of chitin. Chitin is the material that makes the exoskeleton of ants and also the shells of shrimp. In this case, the chitin layers are interspersed with layers of air. So, in order to change the optical properties, I could actually put some other material in there, in the place where the air is. I'm going to use acetone. I have a squirter bottle here that I'm going to put a couple of drops on this rip wing, and let's see what happens. What happens is that the color changes quickly from blue to green as the acetone fills in those spaces. Thin film interference takes place because of the thinness of the layers and the, uh, the phase matching or mismatching as, color, uh, as light of, of different colors goes through the material and reflects off the boundaries. Now notice the acetone is already evaporating off and it's returning to its blue color. Also notice that if I change the angle, here you see a lot of the reflection, but you also see that the color goes to purple from the edge rather than blue. This is something that would not happen if this effect were due to pigments.